Greetings and peace be unto you. This is the Inspiration Show, entitled, It Does Not Have to Be, or It Doesn't Have to Be Your Story. It doesn't have to be a story. Um, I got to admit, I've been in a little funk lately. And not that I didn't have any type of um, ideas or creativity going on, but I just kind of just been in a funk. And um, I got to work around that. Because like I always say to you, you my followers, subscribers, I have a responsibility. And my responsibility is to you every week. And that's every Monday to drop you a new video. You know, regardless of how I feel. Just like you got to go to work. You got to get to work. It doesn't matter if you're tired or you had something going on in your life. Your boss needs you at work. And your coworkers need you there. So it doesn't matter what you're going on, going what's going on with you personally or what you feel. So your responsibility is first to your job. So same here. So anyway, let's get to the subject. It doesn't have to be a story. And how that came about me how how I came about that subject is Basically, I see that a lot of people try to say, well, your father was nothing, your mother was nothing, you're going to be nothing. And that's the farthest from the truth. Because your father lived their own life, your mother lived their own life, and you, as well, have to live your own life. So never let anyone tell you that this is your story and this is the way it's going to be or whatever like that. I mean, even down to the fact of genetics. Because your father might have been overweight, your mother might have been overweight, or the reverse. Your father was in shape, your mother was in shape. It doesn't mean that's what's going to happen to you. Now, the chances might be higher, but you know what? Everything has sort of a chance. But if you do nothing, that's what's going to happen. So if we just sit there and accept everything the way it is, and decide to just not do nothing about it. That's what's going to happen. And that, that pertains to success or failure. So, hey, obviously, if you don't work out or take care of your body, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be what it's going to be. <laughs> it's going to fall apart or whatever the case like that, regardless of genetics. Genetics is only going to take you so far anyway, you know, you may not have to work as hard. That's where genetics may come into play. Like, say, like, if uh, maybe if your father was in shape, you know, had great genes or whatever like that. So now, when it's time for you to get in there and get busy, you may not have the issue. Or maybe easier for you to obtain a certain level of fitness. So the same is true in the fact of, your mother and father could be failures. They could have both been failures. Could have both been failures. Not even one of no one failure, one success. If they were both failures, that really has nothing to do with you. It may affect you in a certain way that maybe you won't be as motivated because that's all you have to look at as far as your blueprint of how you should have your life go. But never feel like just because they failed that you're gonna fail too. You got to get past that. You got to work past that. Somebody got to make it. If your father failed, your mother failed, you're going to fail too? Or are you going to say, you know what? I see what's going on here. Let me pull a horse by the reins, slow this thing down, take charge, and make something happen. Make success happen. Just like in the same light, in reverse, Successful father, successful mother does not necessarily mean that you're going to be successful. Look how many rich people have drug addict children. Look how many rich people are drug addicts. You have to control your own destiny. You got to control your destiny. My mother used drugs for 20 something years. 20-something years. And I don't say that to bash her. My mother's no longer here. 
If my mother were here right now, she would tell you that. That she went, that she used drugs for 20 something years. You know why? Because she overcame that. She overcame that and she did it pretty much on her own accord. Now, she ain't doing her own, particularly without God. God helped her, of course. Deeply, my mother was a reverend, deeply rooted spiritually. But I want to say that from a, a just a non-spiritual aspect, she was o- able to overcome something that was great, something that had control over her life, that some people can't even overcome. And mind you, my mother didn't even go to rehab or nothing like that. She overcame that. Cold turkey, as some would call it. You know. Now, I give you an example as myself have never used drugs in my entire life. To include marijuana. Never. Never even thought about it. Could it have been because me seeing my mother's quote unquote failure that I chose to go the other route could be possibly. I will tell you, she never actually tried to divert me from anything. She never said, don't do this. Don't do that. I, my mother never told me none of that. And strange because you figured she would tell her child, don't do this, right? But she didn't. Now, I don't know. Did she see something that I didn't see? You know? Because I will tell you, my mother had great discernment. So, she possibly could have seen that, oh, he's not going to go that route. Maybe she did see that. I don't know. I didn't see it. What I could tell you, though, is I never had desire to even go that route. So, could it be my mother's discernment? Or could it be my mother's prayers? I like to think it was both. But I never went that route. Now, drinking, I've drank before. Yeah, I've drank before. Was I an alcoholic? Never. You know, but I know at one point in my life, I felt like I drank too much. Even though I wasn't an alcoholic, I never even got halfway to that point. I just kind of got to the point where I was like, what am I really doing here? Am I, am I like, uh, <laughs> what am I celebrating here? Am I celebrating something? Why am I even doing all this? What, what's the, what is the celebration? What's the party at? What, no, where's the party at? What's going on? Why am I doing this? You know, why do I feel like I need to on Fridays, you know, whip out the liquor or whatever like that? What, what am I celebrating? What if I succeeded in a life that I need to pull out a bottle of liquor? And even if I did succeed at something, why do I need to drink? Why do I need to drink? You know, what, what is, what is the deal with drinking? So that got cut out. Smoking, I never smoked a cigarette either. I have family members that went through that phase where they smoked cigarettes. You know, my dad, <clears throat> I think he smoked cigarettes at one point. I know he used to drink. You know, he was a heavy beer drinker. And he used to get, it got to the point where sometimes he would ask me to get him beer from the store. And I was like, I had to shut down after a while. I was like, you know what? All I'm doing is aiding and abetting to his, to his failure. To his demise, I'm aiding and abetting to that, you know, because at the time, I think I was already, yeah, I was already a grown man at the time, so it's like, you know, I told him, I, I said, Tad, I'm not doing that. I'm not getting nothing to drink anymore. If you want to go get you something to drink, I can't stop you, but I know I can stop me, so I'm not getting you anything to drink, and that boomerangs back to what I'm saying. I just said, I can stop me, but I can't stop him. You can decide your destiny as far as your failure or your success. And it may have something to do with your parents, but then again, it really doesn't. Because your parents laid the the blueprint, but you can choose. Actually, I don't even want to say the blueprint. They laid out the example. Be it negative or positive, but it's up to you to choose it. It's up to you to choose whether to follow that blueprint or not, or that example or not. Because you live your own life. There's no one tugging any strings on you. I would hope not. 
I don't think I can have any puppets subscribe to me. <laughs> so you choosing what you do in life on your own accord. You choose to do that. There's nothing to do with what somebody makes you do. Nobody can make you do anything. You can't even make someone love you. Even if you wanted to. You know? So, think about that next time when you say, when somebody says to you, or you choose to accept, your mother wasn't nothing, your father wasn't nothing, you ain't going to be nothing. So, take that in the same light as somebody saying, well, their father is rich, their mother is rich, he rich too, or he going to be successful too, whatever like that, you know. Nah. Don't take that like that. You still make your own choices. You still decide your destiny. It's up to you. You know, door A, door B, whatever you want to call it, it's up to you. Hopefully, you make the right choice, whatever that may be. With that said, I just want to put that in your ear. Give you a little something to think about. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Remember, faith, health, wealth, success.